what's going on welcome back to my channel i'm in the garage now and what i'm going to do today is i'm going to change out the diff um as you can see right here behind me um i got the diff sitting right here and i'm going to put that in the car as i mentioned before this diff is the one with the 391 gears and if you saw in the other video i actually put new axle stubs in it so i'm going to get that into the car and i'll show you what i've been doing so far I've already disconnected the diff, but what I'm gonna do is go through and just tell you what you have to do. All right, first thing I took out was the speed sensors. These are the wheel speed sensors. And I took those out, just a little one bolt in each side. You got one over there and the other one over there. So take those out. Next, you wanna take your axles out um, on that side and over here on that side so you want to take your axles out first and you want to take it out before you disconnect your drive shaft which you see mine hanging right um the reason why you want to take your axles off first is because to get your axles bolt bolts out um if you they're kind of tight so if you're using an impact gun and it doesn't loosen them up like it's supposed to you have to put a ratchet on it or a pull bar and it helps if you keep your dry shaft in to keep the car in park so that it doesn't spin so get your axes off first and then you can take your drive shaft out and once you have all those disconnected you have two bolts right on this side and two more bolts right on this side and you have two bolts right up in here uh, let me see if I can get it up in there we got two bolts right there one over there and one over there and just remember the diff is really really heavy so always put a jack up on it to support it so you can let it down so i'm gonna go ahead and get my jack ready and i'm gonna go ahead and drop this diff Okay, what I did just now is I took the the four bolts out of the the mount that's on the back of the diff um, so that I could lower the cradle to get to the four bolts up on top of the cradle. So that's what I'm about to do now is loosen up the bolts on top of the cradle.
Okay, I got the diff out. And I just gotta take this mount off the back so I can put on my, my other diff. And you see there's two bolts in there that I have to take off and they are 22 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna get the impact gun on that and take that off real fast. put it down on the floor and put this mount on the back um, and I'm gonna need my both of my hands to, in order to to lift this up and put it on the floor so I'm gonna start recording for now
Okay, I got the diff mounted up in my in my car now. Um, my GoPro died on me, so I had to switch over to to this. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the speed sensors back in. Okay, got the speed sensors in. Only thing I have to do is connect the axles. I'm not gonna connect the axles just yet because I need to get some blue Loctite to go around the bolts. And I don't wanna put it on there without putting the Loctite on there. So I'll probably go out and pick up some Loctite tomorrow and put the axles in. Okay, just finished putting the diff in, switching out the diff and putting a new diff in with the 391 gears and or 390 gears and the only thing i have left to do is to put the axles on like i said in the video i need some blue loctite uh, before i put the axle um, bolts in there and i'm gonna go and grab some loctite in the morning and then i'll come out and i'll finish um, putting the axles and stuff on this is just a quick update to this video see i put the dry shaft back in and i have the axles all connected on both sides and i'm getting ready to fill the diff um, with diff oil this is what I'm using and it has friction modifier already in it and I used this before in this rear end so I didn't have any issues with it so that's just a quick update I'm gonna get the exhaust on it and I'll film my first drive with it that's all for doing a diff replacement um, or taking it out and, and changing it out swapping the diff out it's not that bad um, you just got to take patience, especially with the front two bolts on top of the diff. You can't get a, a, a socket in there. So if you had a ratcheting wrench, a ratcheting 17 millimeter, that would be perfect. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. And look forward to more GTO videos and some of my other projects. See you guys in the next video.